Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about government intervention to correct positive externalities. I'm going to focus first on positive externalities of production and then I'll talk about positive externalities of consumption. So when it comes to positive externalities of production, the government can use subsidies to correct these positive externalities, direct provision or legislation and regulation or a combination of all three. So if the government decides to subsidize or interferes through direct provision, remember initially this is the initial market failure. You've got MSC is lower than the MPC because of the existence of, their, of a positive externality of production. The market is actually providing PE and uh, sorry, charging PE and providing QE, but the market should be providing QOPT. This is what it should be. And this is the optimum price, POPT. So let's assume the government grants a subsidy or enters the market through direct provision. This will increase the market supply. And so the MPC curve will shift to the right to MPC2. Okay, this will basically bring the price down from PE to P2 and increase the quantity in the market from QE to Q2. Okay, some textbooks will actually shift the new MPC curve all the way um, to the MSC. So basically what happens is that the MPC shifts all the way and it reaches the MSC. But I prefer to just kind of um, put it halfway so that you can actually see that basically Q2 is moving a little bit closer. It's closer to QOPT. Um, the reason I don't put the new MPC curve just like directly over the MSC is because it's always difficult to measure or estimate the size of the externality. And thus, it's not always easy to know how much of a subsidy to grant. Uh, remember, those subsidies or direct provision, both of which will shift the MPC curve to um, the right, um, come with a very high opportunity cost. The government has to be ready to justify um, this high cost to the taxpayers because ultimately they are the ones that pay. That's They're the people that the government gets its tax revenue. And um, keep in mind that too much government regulation can often be very costly to enforce. Okay, So these are things you can keep in mind when you are evaluating. Right? So remember, um, in the case of positive externalities of production, these forms of government intervention, since the initial market failure is there's a problem of underproduction, the solution is for the government to use uh, strategies that would encourage production, like subsidies, direct provision, or the use of legislation and regulation. Uh, these are policies to correct positive externalities of production. All right. Let's scroll below and talk about positive externalities of consumption. Okay, so the initial market failure looks like this. There's a problem of underconsumption. QE, what the market is actually providing, is less than QOPT. And PE is what the market is actually charging. It's also less than POPT. So here, the government can also make use of subsidies and direct provision, as well as legislation and regulation. But it can also make use of education and awareness creation. And both of them will affect the diagram differently. So subsidies and direct provision, even though the initial split is on the demand side, the MSB is higher than the MPB, subsidies and direct provision will actually shift the MSC curve to the right, okay? From MSC to MSC2. So now you kind of have this new equilibrium. We'll call this Q2 and P2. So the price falls from PE to P2 and the quantity increases from QE to Q2. Again, I am not um, picking a point uh, that is basically directly add QOPT because remember, it's difficult to measure the size of the externality to know the exact amount of subsidy um, or the exact amount of direct provision the government should provide. And again, these policies come with a very high opportunity cost and need to be justified to the taxpayers. So remember, in the case of positive externalities of consumption, subsidies and direct provision will actually increase the supply. They will not change the demand. Okay. Uh, while education and awareness creation, on the other hand, which also 
involve a high opportunity cost. Um, and positive advertising campaigns are costly. And the use of legislation and regulation, these, what they will do, again, so this is the initial market failure. You've got the market providing QE and charging PE when it should be providing QOPT and charging POPT. So what education awareness creation as well as legislation regulation would do is that they would increase the demand. So the MPB would shift to the right, closer to the MSB, from MPB to MB, MPB2, okay? This will <clears throat> create a quantity that's a little bit closer to QOPT from QE to Q2, and a price that's a little bit closer to P opt from PE to P2. So remember, subsidies and direct provision will increase supply. The MSC curve will shift to the right to MSC2, while education awareness creation, legislation regulation will shift the MPB curve, which is the demand curve to the right from MPB to MPB2. Again, education awareness creation, there's a high opportunity cost, high um, opportunity cost because these are costly uh, strategies uh, while legislation and regulation could be things like you know mandates for example you know mandates for people to send their kids to school or vaccine mandates uh, all of these are ways to sort of encourage the uptake of this product which is in the case of positive externalities of consumption it's often a merit good like schools or um, vaccines and so on so here's a review of basically the different government intervention strategies to deal with positive externalities of production as well as positive externalities of consumption. Um, if you like these videos, uh, please consider, um, I do some practice questions um, uh, for my the members of this channel and you can become a member uh, by basically clicking the link in the video or just typing this, I chose a link that's easy to remember. So bit.ly slash IB Econ Guru. If you become a pro member of the channel, um, pro membership, you get access to um, IB style exam practice questions and sample responses, as well as lots of videos uh, with real world examples that you can integrate in your essays. Anyway, um, sorry about this shameless uh, marketing pitch, but um, while I have your attention, I hope you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments uh, if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Have a good one.